It was the Australian pop anthem that told the world about Vegemite sandwiches. The Men at Work song Down Under was one of the biggest international hits of the 1980s. But now the federal court has ruled that the song copied a substantial part of another Australian classic, Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree. The company which owns the copyright to that song is now poised to receive millions in royalties. Leave Casbin reports. It started with the ABC quiz show Spicks and Specs. Kookaburra sitting in the old gum tree. That's exactly oh. the one. The Kookaburra song was penned by Marion Sinclair. And when the owners of the copyright saw the episode, it prompted legal action against men at work. We say that uh, in the song there's at least half of Kookaburra distributed throughout various parts of the song and repeated various times. And it's now been supported by this judge. It was the flute riff that the judge found infringes the copyright of Kookaburra because it reproduces a substantial part of Miss Sinclair's work. Now the iconic Australian song and number one hit could cost the band millions. It has some pretty serious, uh, you know, possibly some pretty serious financial repercussions. You know, the fact of the matter is that it went unrecognised for... 27 years because it was unconscious, it was innocuous, it was naive. EMI executives who the action was against were also left reeling. We'll have to review the very complex judgment. Just how much money men at work will have to pay is yet to be decided, with Larrikin seeking up to 60% of the royalties. Whatever the amount, the money won't go to Marion Sinclair, who wrote the song for a Girl Guides competition. After she passed away, the rights to the song were sold. Copyright law lasts for life plus 70 years um, and I think that is an excessive period of time in which to exploit a copyright work. A decision on costs will be made later this month. Leave Casbin, ABC News, Sydney.